Run! It's a stampede! It's a game! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 adventure movies. Both of you turn your keys clockwise at the same time. Ah! Thanks a lot. You almost got me killed. Clockwise, Sully! Well, it was 50 50, so I made a guess. Clearly. For this list, we'll be looking at films where the characters leave their comfort zones, embarking on a journey across mysterious lands. To level the playing field, we're leaving off animated and superhero movies. What movie brings out your inner adventurer? Let us know in the comments. Number 10 The Princess Bride. Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Even the most acclaimed movies have their detractors, but you'd have to search far and wide to find somebody who didn't adore the Princess Bride. You can die too for all I care. Oh. As you wish. Oh, my sweet Wesley. What have I done? Ow. This is one of those movies that has everything. Comedy, romance, and of course, adventure. Balancing each element just about flawlessly. Look, I don't mean to be rude, but this is not as easy as it looks, so I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't distract me. Sorry. Thank you. From the cliffs of insanity, to the dreaded fire swamp, to the kingdom of Florin, the filmmakers transport us to a fantastical world right out of a fairy tale. Like Fred Savage's young character, even the most cynical child will get swept up in the gripping journey. Yet the film is just as appealing to adults, not merely because of its self-aware humor, but because of how it captures the excitement we all felt while reading our first storybook. Maybe you could come over and read it again to me tomorrow. As you wish. Number nine, the seventh voyage of Sinbad. Land ho off the port bow. He has the eyes of an owl. I see nothing. Look, there. Before we associated Sinbad with a certain comedian, the name was synonymous with adventure. While Sinbad himself is a fairly straightforward hero, it's the side characters and environments that draw us to his adventures. I sometimes wonder what they would think if they could see me as I am. I do not trust them out of my sight or in it. The seventh voyage of Sinbad more than delivers with a shrunken down princess, a greedy magician pursuing a magic lamp, and an island of fantastic beasts. <laughs> While Nathan Duran's live action direction and Hio Perando's art direction dazzle, the film belongs to Ray Harryhausen's stop motion expertise. For his first color feature, Harryhausen spent almost a year animating Cyclops, dragons, and other creatures that retain an old school handcrafted charm. <laughs> When an effect looks kind of dated, the illusion is never broken because the cast and filmmakers tackle the material with such sophistication. Number 8. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl You! You're supposed to be dead! Am I not? Pirates have always been a great source of adventure, but the genre was dead in the water for several years. You wouldn't expect an adaptation of a Disney theme park attraction to breathe new life into pirate movies. Yet, Curse of the Black Pearl went beyond the call of duty with unforgettable characters, inventive action, and surprisingly rich lore. Well, thank you, Jack. You're welcome. Not you, we named the monkey, Jack. Director Gore Verbinski found an unlikely balance between the old and new. He captured the swashbuckling fun of an Errol Flynn picture, but updated it with a modern sense of humor and effects that still impress almost two decades later. The film also offered a darker edge than anticipated, bringing genuine stakes to the adventure without taking itself too seriously. Drink up, me hearties! Yo-ho! 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 yo Oh. <laughs> Number 7, The Goonies. The Goonies is every kid's ultimate fantasy brought to life. Who hasn't dreamed of finding a mysterious map in their attic, setting out on a treasure hunt involving skeletons, water slides, and pirate ships? Oh, wow. <laughs> 
while the setup isn't practical per se, the film succeeds in making the audience believe that something like this could happen. That's largely because the young cast is so believable in their roles. Even when a character delivers a passionate speech that's clearly a product of cinematic storytelling, it's executed in a way that feels 100% authentic. Our parents, they want the best of stuff for us. But right now they gotta do what's right for them. Cause it's their time. Their time. Up there. Down here, it's our time. It's our time down here. Chris Columbus's tight script, the late Richard Donner's atmospheric direction, and producer Steven Spielberg's signature magic culminate to a thoroughly enjoyable adventure with one of the genre's most satisfying final destinations. Our Willie. Thanks. Number six, The Treasure of the Sierra Madre. You sure he was trailing you, are you? Absolutely. How come? Because there he is. Director John Huston and Humphrey Bogart collaborated on numerous cinematic classics, including two Golden Age adventures. Then you think we can do it? Do it? Of course we can do it. Nothing a man can't do if he believes in himself. Never say die, that's my motto. The African Queen may be the definitive adventure romance, earning Bogart an overdue Oscar. Houston, meanwhile, won two Oscars for The Treasure of the Sierra Madre, a completely different kind of adventure film. Instead of sweeping and romantic, this gritty mix of Western and film noir explores the darkest side of any treasure hunt, greed. We are Federalists, you know, the mountain police. If you're the police, where are your badges? Badges? We ain't got no badges. We don't need no badges. I don't have to show you any stinking badges. Most adventure movies have a covetous character, but they rarely take center stage. Bogart gives one of his most transformative performances as a seemingly honorable man with something darker lurking underneath, waiting to be awakened by that first taste of gold. Uh, I think I'll go to sleep and dream about piles of gold getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Tragically ironic and thematically complex, it adds new layers to the genre. Number 5. Jurassic Park Somewhere between a roller coaster and an archaeological expedition, you have the cinematic experience of Jurassic Park. Boy, no head being right all the time. While far from the first film to bring dinosaurs to the silver screen, Jurassic Park was arguably the first to truly capture the awe and terror that these prehistoric beasts encompassed. Part of this is due to the revolutionary computer-generated imagery and practical effects that are just as impressive. Yet credit also must go to the cast, who make the audience believe that these extinct creatures are walking the earth once again. It's, it's a dinosaur. Uh -huh. On one hand, we're grateful that Jurassic Park doesn't exist in real life. On the other hand, we wish that we could explore the park, especially if Alan Grant and Ian Malcolm were by our sides. So what are you thinking? <laughs> we're out of a job. Don't you mean extinct? Number four, The Adventures of Robin Hood. <laughs> Everyone associates Robin Hood with adventure, and this Technicolor Best Picture nominee is the legendary outlaw's finest hour. Nottingham and Sherwood Forest have never appeared more vibrant. Maid Marian, played by Olivia de Havilland, isn't merely a damsel in distress, but an intelligent woman who comes to recognize the injustice happening and takes risks for the greater good. Please don't stand there staring. Tell me what I can do. Don't trust her. It's another Norman trick. Would I come here alone if it were a trap? What's to prevent your keeping me here and killing me if... Oh, is there no one here with sense enough to see? The Haviland and co-director Michael Curtiz reunite with Captain Blood himself, Errol Flynn, who is perfectly cast here as Robin. We never see Flynn playing a character. We simply see Robin Hood in all of his dashing, charismatic, and heroic glory. You know any prayers, my friend? I'll say one for you. The sword play remains some of the most invigorating ever committed to film, but the swashbuckling action never overshadows the romance, humor, or sense of fun. He split Philip's arrow. The finger wins. Number three, King Kong. King Kong has appeared in a variety of remakes, sequels, and spin-offs with quality ranging from beautiful to beastly. However, few interpretations define movie magic like the 1933 original. 
Even if some later versions might look more quote unquote realistic, this is the version that triggers the imagination within every adventurous filmmaker. While it's easy to gush over the innovative stop motion, matte paintings, and other pre-digital technical tricks, King Kong is distinguished by something many other monster movies lack, art. We fear and empathize with Kong as he's taken out of his natural environment. Ladies and gentlemen, look at Kong, the eighth wonder of the world. As foreboding as Skull Island is, the film's interpretation of New York is every bit as ominous. This helps us to see through Kong's eyes during the exciting, tragic, and poetic climax. Well, Denham, the airplane's got him. Oh, no. It wasn't the airplanes. It was beauty killed the beast. Number 2. Raiders of the Lost Ark Raiders of the Lost Ark might have started as Steven Spielberg and George Lucas's homage to adventure serials. By the end of production, though, Raiders took on an identity that's all its own. Some action adventures have one or two memorable set pieces. Raiders is one iconic moment after another, from the opening temple escape to the desert chase to the climactic opening of the Ark. None of this would be nearly as exciting, however, without a compelling hero. Indiana Jones is somebody we immediately want to follow based on his cool attire and that intense look in his eyes. Then, as the adventure unfolds, Indy develops into a surprisingly nuanced character who is only made more interesting because of his flaws, such as his fear of snakes. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The Mummy. Corny, but the romantic chemistry, mythology, and action make for peak 90s fun. <laughs> 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. One of cinema's most sophisticated steampunk adventures. Labyrinth. Jim Henson, George Lucas, and David Bowie deliver a one-of-a-kind fantasy adventure. Dance, magic, dance. Dance, magic, dance. dance. <laughs> Jason and the Argonauts. The skeleton sequence may be Ray Harryhausen's masterpiece. <laughs> Romancing the Stone. Michael Douglas and Kathleen Turner make for one of the genre's most memorable pairs. These were Italian. Now they're practical. Is nothing that I own sacred to you? Only your $375. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Lord of the Rings Trilogy With this epic adaptation, Peter Jackson fully realized the vast fantasy world that J.R.R. Tolkien created. Lord of the Rings doesn't just transport the audience to another world, it makes us feel as if we're experiencing an adventure alongside the Fellowship of the Ring. The fact that the trilogy was released over three years further contributed to that sense of adventure. Every time we went to the theater to see the new installment, it felt as if we were gearing up for the journey of a lifetime. Each chapter gained momentum, and once it was over, we were both relieved to see the ring destroyed and saddened to say goodbye. All adventures come to an end, but this trilogy's impact is eternal. You bow to no one. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.